Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bible Q&A. Today we're discussing what makes faith so powerful. Well, it's three main things. Three main things make faith strong. The first one is the knowledge of God. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Once we understand the scriptures and we know God's plan, then our faith can be built on that. Our faith can be built on wisdom. Because it's just the building blocks. How are you supposed to care about God and have faith in Him if you don't know anything about Him? Obviously, you're going to need to start with that. But I mean, that's not all. We also have the second thing, experiences. These can include temptations, tribulations, stuff that actually puts our developing faith into action. James had this to say, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. You can have all this knowledge, but if you can't put it into practice, then it's useless, which is why this step is important. When temptations or tribulations come our way, we can overcome it with our understanding of the scriptures. And that grows our faith even more. We get some faith from knowledge, and then that faith is strengthened, and we grow it with experiences. Obviously, we're going to eventually conquer our temptations if we have enough initial faith. So once we see that we can go through these things, then our faith grows even more. Because when we have these experiences, we learn. But then we're also happy that we were able to get through them in the first place. It's great. And that's where the final thing comes in. The Holy Spirit. Because once we're living our lives, going through these experiences, learning about God, the Holy Spirit can come in and attract God's blessings. And what is one of those blessings? Stronger faith. It just builds and builds from there. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered, and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Romans chapter 8 verses 26 to 27. And that is where I think I will stop in discussing this question. And if you liked what you heard, like and subscribe, please. It gets our message on the YouTube. And it helps the people know what God is doing in these last days. Like and subscribe.